All right, everybody, this is Sheets. And unfortunately, I think my this camera is pretty brutal. So we're going to, um, well, we'll just kind of keep it like this, I guess. So you're going to see just basically a shadow of me, if at all. But what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a breakdown of the LCS slate from this afternoon. Uh, it's a very uh, slow day DFS-wise. And I just did a tutorial on how to play LOL in general, which I posted up there. So I figured I would follow it up with a very rare um, breakdown of the slate. Uh, oftentimes, DFS Chan will put up videos of the LPL slate. And I just had a little bit of time to do the LCS slate uh, for today. So I figured we would go through it. And I'm not going to go through it, you know, by an in-depth fundamental breakdown that DFS Chan does. I'm really just going to start with the projections and just basically turn this into a lineup build and show you how I build my lineups for LOL, specifically to this slate. Um, so you'll see it is a five-game slate. All starts at about 5 p.m. Uh, as you guys know, it's uh, no no late swap, so you have to get everything in before here. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pull up my sheets, which are available for premium subscribers on uh True DFS. And just for kind of a recap, because again, I'm not, I don't think I've done an LCS uh, video breakdown almost ever. So just to kind of just bring you up to speed. So this is the, these are the sheets that you get to see when you are a premium member. And this is kind of a, uh, I don't want to say aggregate, but it's kind of a combination of different models throughout the industry, which have actually been back tested and uh, kind of uh, adjusted for accuracy. And then sort of tweaked a little bit, um, given a little bit of massage back and forth. And we come up with a pretty decent representation of what uh, uh, of what the median projection should be for some of these guys. Um, now, again, as you know, LOL is not really about median projection. You know, you really have to be playing for win and for ceiling and things like that. Um, but you start with the median projections to filter into the into the optimizers. Uh, nonetheless, uh, just to recap, uh, this column E is everybody's raw projection. Uh, F is the sheets value score, which is basically just you know a combination of of points per dollar plus uh, an adjustment for salary that it provides a good way to just rank these guys. I can't get into the to the algorithm that's that's used to do this, I kind of, uh, uh, but I, I've settled on this one uh, a little while ago to, to, you know, to make that adjustment between points per dollar and and salary and upside and things like that. Nonetheless, I've ranked everybody by um, sheets value score here. In column G is the projected ownership uh, in the utility, um, or actually in overall, and uh, and captain ownership as well. Um, okay, so when we just kind of eyeball this, you'll see that um, it looks like 100 Thieves is probably going to look pretty decent just because they have two guys that are in the top over here. Um, I kind of look at this just the way I say the same way I look at hockey, really. Um, uh, then C9 with Bersinger and MS and Blabber. So without even, you know, running anything, it would seem as though. 100 Thieves, C9, and then maybe TSM would be the next three. So uh, the next uh, team. So those would be the three teams I'd probably try to stack together. That would be 100 Thieves, C9, and TSM. Um, but I really like to just put these things into Sabersim and see what I come up with. So let's go do that. Let's um, – this is the actual slate. Let's go into Sabersim, which is – here. Uh, this is golf and we will launch LOL. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upload my projections here. And again, sorry for the shadow in the background uh, for my face, if that's what you're seeing. All right. So we're going to upload this. We're going to replace the Saber Sims projections and we'll put the captain ownership over here. And now we have our projections in here. All right, so we're going to build lineups. Let's build, I don't know, 30 just for help, just hell of it. 
30 lineups, and we're going to keep the defaults uh, set on what they are here, which is very high correlation and very high SIM diversity. You could actually make it even higher if you want. And we're going to make no other changes, and we're going to start a build and see what we come up with. And I'm going to show you the various tweaks that I make uh, when I use Saber Sims and make lineup builds, because there it does get somewhat um, somewhat testy when it builds LOL lineups. I've tried to talk with the Saber Sim guys about about fixing this issue, but I'll, I'll let you see as as, as I come across it. Hopefully, it's building lineups here. Oh, there they are. And for those of you that build using SaberSim, uh, I'd be curious to know if you see the same, uh, I want to say error, but uh, the same little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bug? I don't want to call it a bug. All right, so let's just see. So before I look at anything else, I will look at stack types. And you'll see for some reason, this always works out this way, that they give you mostly four threes, but they always put in some four twos. And I don't know exactly why that is. I've tried to work with them with this. And I haven't been able to figure out why. And what's interesting is when you look at the four twos here, it's not like the typical four twos that you would imagine. Like you see like the one outlier is in these weird spots. You know, like here you have NR, the NRG sup, uh, support as, as the one-off. Um, here you have uh, double lift as, a, as, a, as the one-off. And... Uh, Practically, that doesn't seem like a good idea. So what I usually do is just put a min exposure of 100% of four threes. So that's all I get. Okay. So now the next thing I do before I even look is I will look at the team stacks that I'd be getting here. And it seems as though I'd be getting um, a good amount of 100 thieves, a good amount of C9. And then I actually get FlyQuest uh, before I get uh, TSM which uh, doesn't really jive to my um, my uh, my projection sheet. So I have to think about this. The other thing that I will notice, by the way, is that although FlyQuest shows up as higher owned than TSM when I, when I build 30, you look at stack pool exposure as opposed to just stack exposure from what I've selected. And what this indicates is that if I went through like, uh, 177 different lineups or whatever, I would actually get a higher percentage of say TSM or, or EG as opposed to um, um, as opposed to the others. Um, so um, that is something to note. The next thing I will do before I even go into uh, what players are here is what percentage of four stacks or five stacks. And this is interesting. I'm actually getting the highest exposure of of, of FlyQuest, which is which is not um, it's not something I normally want to do because FlyQuest tends to play kind of slow. But if I start saying that, now I'm just kind of putting my opinion over the projections, which uh, is also something I don't want to do. So this is something I'm thinking about. Then I'll look at three at the three stacks and I'll see that uh, the majority of them are 100 Thieves in EG. So what's interesting is that the TSM, which I was expecting to get a decent amount of, um, I'm really not getting there, which is sort of interesting. So it's going to come to a decision of whether I want to do a minimum exposure of TSM to maybe make it higher than FlyQuest uh, in, my, in, my, uh, in my builds. Before I do any of that, I'm going to put in the players tab here and I want to see what I'm getting as far as captains go, because when it comes to uh, LCS, I really have not seen a lot of, of GPPs that were taken down by support in the cap. And for that matter, it's very difficult for top to get there as well. So what you could do if you want to is X out, the support captain lineups and the top captain lineups, if you wanted to. Um, you could just rely on the Saber Sim builds uh, if you want as well. But just to show you how to do that, let me just do this. So now I want to go back and see what how this changes the overall exposure to the slate. Um, and you'll see now that you're actually... Let's see. 
now you're getting it's pretty much the same like a hundred you know a hundred thieves number one but still fly quest you're getting just quite a bit of and you're almost getting very little c9 and the reason why by the way that this happens is because just because of the way salary kind of distributes it's probably hard to get the hundred thieves with tsm or the hundred thieves with c9 um so that's why it's giving you fly quest fly quest is probably somewhat cheap um so now it's a question of, of what I want to do. You know, like, do, do, I, do I want to save this build here and just kind of roll with it? Or do I want to just kind of put my own kind of opinion um, about, you know, maybe FlyQuest being a little bit too slow and its games being somewhat too slow and just kind of just override all the FlyQuest ownership, okay? Um, let's just see, like, what that would look like, for example. So let's see, first of all, if I wanted to increase say c9 which i really thought was going to be pretty good to 40 percent and then let's just say that i was able to and it, and it did so it, it made this adjustment right away without me even without say uh saber sim yelling at me so to speak but just just for the hell of it if i made fly quest zero I mean, how bad would that be Let's see. Um, not bad actually. Um, it what happens is I can get rid of Fly Quest without it really getting upset with me. Um, so maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll full fade Fly Quest. And now the thing is, if I'm gonna full fade Fly Quest, I probably have to full fade that whole game because the opposite. The the idea is that Fly Quest's games are just notoriously slow. So I'll probably just end up having to fade NRG as well. Um, so then you end up with kind of a new build here, um, which gives you about, it still doesn't get me the exposure I want for TSM, but I think it's at least putting me in, 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 in decent shape here. So what I'll do is let's, let's try to increase it so that I can get like more TSM and make it say my third highest owned stack, maybe like get it above GG somehow. Is that possible to just even, and again, this is probably not the greatest idea to just manually try to tweak this. See, now it gets back to, now it's giving me dig as the top. So it's, this is, this is really just probably overdoing it as far as me demanding my exposures the way I want it. But that's what I do. I just kind of tweak and tweak and tweak and, and, and do things like that. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset all of the adjustments. And now I'm left with what I had in the beginning. And this is actually, and now what it's done is interesting. Now it's given me almost no fly quest, which is fine. Uh, a little, it's still giving me NRG. So let's get rid of the NRG. Boom. We'll get rid of the fly quest. Boom. The only thing I'm getting that the sheets have not been giving me is uh, more GG than TSM. Okay, so now it's giving me a little bit, maybe a little bit too much Hunter Thieves. Um, but I think this is okay. But just for the hell of it, and this is what I like doing. I'll just, I'll just make this 60 and see what this does to me. So this is actually probably the closest thing that I'm getting to what my sheets would recommend. So 100 Thieves, C9, and TSM almost the same as GG. So now let's double check the, we have to now double check again, the, the stack types. Now we have to go back to team stacks. So far, so good. And once again, we have to go back into this captain situation. Get rid of the sup, get rid of the sup. Get rid of the sup and get rid of the support here. Get rid of top, get rid of top. Now we'll go back and see what we have. 100 Thieves, it still wants me to get a lot of this Golden Guardian. So I'm gonna stop trying to argue with it at this point. Um, I'm just going to have to just accept that TSM is not going to be as highly owned as some of these. I'll give it one more shot. 
to throw it up there at 30%. And then I just don't get enough C9. So now we go up to 30% C9. This is what I like to do. I'm going to get nice and stubborn. But now I get too much GG. Let's see what this does. And now we're back to dig. And this is honestly the the what I end up doing to myself when I have way too much time on my hands. Um, so now we're back to the originals. We're at 66%, 100 thieves, 53% C9. So I'm probably going to just stop arguing with it. I, I'm, I'm light enough on the fly quest NRG. Um, and now we'll go back to make sure the captain is what it wants. So let's go back to get rid of the supports. I think that is kind of a priority support. Support. Get rid of the top. Let's double check the stack types. Again, we'll go back to 100% four threes. Now we'll double check here again. And I think this is what we're going to have to live with. So we will go, we'll download the lineups. We will upload it to here. And again, I'm not saying this is what I'm going to actually rely on, but this is, this would be my process going back and forth and back and forth. Now, the other thing I will do, by the way, is I will also double check to see if Chan has put any kind of like nuggets out there. Um, where, you know, uh, in the Discord, because he's like really, really good at, at coming up with stuff that the projections wouldn't wouldn't uh, pick up on. So for now, what we're going to do, just to reserve our spots here, we will go into League of Legends. We will play um, 30 lineups here. Boom, boom. Then we'll go and we'll play. May as well play this, the qualifiers, right? As long as we're here. And qualifiers. We'll just play the top rated lineups for now. Then we could change it later. I don't think there's any, um, I don't think there is a um, triumphant warrior today, but maybe. Let's see. Uh, oh, there is. So. It's not it's not a lot of money for first, but we'll we'll play it anyway. Why not? Do you have any money into the account? Yeah, okay. All right. And that's it. So again, if it were up to me, again, I would be getting a decent amount of C9, uh, a decent amount of uh what else did I say? A hundred thieves and a decent amount. I would like to get more TSM, uh, but that's just me. All right, uh, that'll do it. Good luck in today's slate.